Oh, welcome back, everybody. In 2014, the CDC reported that autism is diagnosed in approximately one out of every 68 individuals. Autism is four times more prevalent in boys and girls. The Autism Society works to improve the lives of all who are affected by autism. That's right. Emily Levine is executive director of the Autism Society of Southeastern Wisconsin, and our friend Fave Wetzel is the 2016 Autism Gala Honorary Chair. Good to see you, ladies. Hi, ladies. Thank you. That's a hard act to follow, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trevor Moran. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm going to learn that whole moves. background dance. Good Come idea. On, Good right? idea. Yeah. It's like my, yes. going to be my new workout. Good exercise. <laughs> you know, when we talk about autism, I think people are getting more and more um, comfortable with, with the spectrum of autism and what it means for people who have autism. But why do you think it's important to continue um, educating and teaching people about autism? Because I think it's one of those tough things that you can't always see immediately. Right, and I'm a parent of mm -hmm. a 28-year-old young man with autism, which is how I got involved with the Autism Society. And what we really want is we want our children to have the same kinds of opportunities for employment, friendships, and all aspects of living in a community that everybody else has. And to do that, we need to reduce stigma, spread awareness so that people understand and are more accepting. Mm -hmm. and, and this this question um, might sound very uninformed, but I, I'm wondering how you think things are going. Because from my perspective, mm -hmm. I have seen more kids with autism mm -hmm. on, for example, my son's basketball team, in their choir concerts, in drama productions at school, in um, included in ways I maybe have not seen it before. Are things improving, or is my view not accurate? I think they are. I think we still have a long way to go, and that 80% of adults with disabilities are unemployed. People still struggle with finding affordable housing. Um, many adults with autism still live in their parents' homes, and, and it can become a struggle for families as they're aging to find someone that will care for their child and to have a, a safe place for their child to live. Mm -hmm. Why is the gala so important? Well, the gala is one of our, our major fundraisers um, to support our services and programs. We do, um, our mission is to improve the lives of all affected by autism. And to do that, we want to make sure families have good information. Mm -hmm. We disseminate a lot of information. We have a helpline. We also have a number of support groups so that parents can learn from other parents. And then we do educational programming, not only for parents, but for law enforcement, for educators, um, child care centers, anybody who is supporting someone with autism and wants to do a better job. I wonder as, um, you know, just kind of going to the support that you mentioned, because I think that's so important for families. Do you find that the support you receive um, really helps a lot? Because oftentimes the spectrum is so large. I wonder if you can identify with people on the same area of the spectrum as your son. That's exactly right. And, and actually, I've learned a lot from adults that have autism that can um, help us know what it's like to grow up with these challenges and these differences in the way their brains work. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really important for us to have all those people at the table. I learned so much from other parents. It's par part of why I work there now. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Love that. What's your role in, in this event, Faye? Well, I was very flattered and validated when the um, Autism Society asked me to be the honorary chair this year. And um, uh, having been in business for 25 years, in business by a woman, for women, that employs mainly all women, um, we've been involved with autism since day one, mm -hmm. both in, I have employed salespeople who have autistic children, we've had autistic children and young people help us out in the store, certainly customers, we bump up against it every single day, mm -hmm. and I've just always been in awe of the spectrum mm -hmm. and sometimes the brilliance of it oh, yeah. yeah you know I, I just think that that's so amazing the workings of the brain and so and I've been to the gala every year I think that it has mm -hmm. been hosted and what I love about it is I go to a lot of these kinds of fundraisers and sometimes when you come home and you take off your makeup and you lay in bed at night you're like that was fun what was that for again mm -hmm. yeah but with with this gala there's always it's fun of course and there's a wonderful raffle and voice auction, but you also get a sense of the organization, of the um, of autism itself, of what's being done. Your awareness is raised, and you look around, and you really get a sense of how many people it affects. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Yeah, and these things on our table, these lovely things, are the types of things that are going to be auctioned at the event that you're you're hosting, correct? We have a lot of good things this year, right, Emily? We do. Yeah. We sure do. Big spectrum, a lot of experiences. You can um, you can bid on going to um, a trade show with Faye, fashion trade show. That's with cool. Faye. How, I mean, how that would be really. I fun. might have to bid on that. Yeah, I'd have to bid on that. Yeah. One. So the flower power is for a bunch of flowers from Sendix, right? There's the um, Taste of Italy, which you brought kind of a little basket to represent that. Um, and that's a tasting party for 10 that Wonderful. people can bid on. There's the Marcus package, which is, what, for 20 movie pack uh, passes and different things like that. And then there's also a Disney World package. So truly some really great opportunities to bid on great items as well as learn a lot and support a great local organization. And dancing. And dancing. and dancing. Dancing too. I love to dance. At the beautiful Fister. Love that. Wonderful. Okay. Thanks to both of you ladies so much. Here's the information so that you can take part in this incredible gala. It is happening Saturday, April 16th, so you have time to get it on your calendar and get tickets. It is at the Fister Hotel Grand Ballroom, which is located on East Wisconsin Avenue. 6.30 cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, and the silent auction we were talking about. 8 o'clock is dinner um, and a wonderful program featuring wings, airport rehearsal program. There's music. There's dancing. Um, cocktail attire is, is, is recommended, and how fun is that? Um, find out more by visiting the website that you see there, and um, you can find out more, too, about the Autism Society is by uh, checking out their website as well. Thanks, you guys, so much. Thanks. Thank you for having us. Appreciate Wonderful. it.